your carbon-based life form. Right. Right. Be careful. Do you, okay, so do you want to just cheers? Good perspective. Good cook, bad cook! No, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. No reviews. Here, this is, we're doing those from now on, by the way. Fuck you. Cheers, cheers. Cinnamon vanilla yanker! Alright! So today, on Good Foot, Good Foot, Good Foot, um, good cook, bad cook, good cook, bad cook. We are going to be making... Don't you right. stand here now? Whoa. Don't I usually stand? Well, when we put there. the title, it says good cook, bad cook, but because... Put bad cook, good cook. That's confusing. You said it says good cook, bad cook? Right. Then this should be right, right? Right, but I'm going to be the one talking to this. So now we're good. So you're bad cook, though. Yes. Right, so then you'd have to flip it. Okay, fine, whatever. So today we're going to be making a frittata. Uh, frittata is an egg-based dish where you put a bunch of stuff in it. It's kind of like a scramble, but not scramble. You can make them anywhere from 4 to 12 eggs. You can make it with one egg. How small is your pan? Good point. So our ingredient list, or my ingredient list, this is more how I make it than how a good cook makes it. I generally make a really big one because I'll eat it for a day or two. I will use 12 eggs. Uh, for every two eggs, I use one slice of thick cut bacon. I use about half a cup of grated cheese. I generally use sharp cheddar or medium much, cheddar. So half a cup for one. Oh, for the, the whole thing. Okay. So, and it, it all depends on how much you like cheese or all these different ingredients. I use anywhere from five to six mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, depending on their size. If they're smaller, I'll use more. If they're bigger, I use less. I use one green onion. About half, I generally put more, but rather objective. I put about half to this whole, motherfucker when I put a whole onion. Yeah. Okay, we'll see when it's done. I like I like onion a lot, so put about half an onion in this combination. Three cloves of garlic, nice size. One large jalapeno, and then we'll put a bit of sriracha, whatever your favorite hot sauce is. This is a habanero salsa, hot sauce, not salsa. It says salsa on there though. Some salt, some cayenne pepper, some pepper. How was it? <clears throat> Pretty good. <laughs> and I will occasionally, depending on how much garlic I actually have, sometimes I'll put garlic powder. But since we have some, I'm going to use that today. Okay, so the first thing we do is cut the bacon in half and then start cooking it because we use the fat from that to lubricate the pan for the rest of the cooking. Okay, cool. Alright, now that our bacon is all done cooking, we've got it chopped up and ready to go on to the next step, which is sautéing the vegetables. You should be able to get that all cut up while the bacon is cooking. So we're going to be putting that on, and we do it in two parts. We put everything except the garlic in first, because the garlic tends to cook pretty fast, and you don't want to have that in there right away, because it can burn. So now it's going to get that started. It should still be hot, but we still got plenty of fat in there from cooking the bacon. If you think there's not enough, you can go ahead and add a little bit of butter to it. And if you don't like bacon fat, you can scrape that out. If you don't like bacon fat, you can scrape or it Or cook it with something else so you're not using bacon. Just throw some high butter in there. Boil butter or oil or whatever you want. Because you can really you know, do whatever kind of meat or vegetables you want. Yep. Another important thing to know is anytime you cook peppers, it's highly recommended, cut peppers, it's highly recommended to wear gloves. Otherwise you touch your face and then it's burning all over the place. I'm experiencing right now. And the mushrooms. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so I generally put the first little bit of salt on there while this is cooking. I, I don't know why, but I feel like it helps. You should season while you go. Don't season too much though once you get the eggs in, I think, anyway. Uh, you yeah. don't want to over season it. And you can't really taste that part, you know. This you can taste when it's done cooking. Right. But you can't. You can't really taste the eggs while they're cooking. And so while that's going on, 
we can start to crack the eggs and get that whole mixture put together. So we're going to be putting the eggs in there, the cheese, the bacon, the hot sauces, and some of the other seasonings as well. Cheers. It's cool. I drink by myself. All right, whatever. I had to take a little break there. So now what we're going to be doing is cracking all the eggs, mixing everything together, like I just said. And that part, we're going to speed this up so it doesn't take forever. And you can generally do that while your vegetables are sauteing. Right. Sauteing. It's because Sauron is cooking your vegetables. Sauron. them you want to beat your eggs into uh, submission make sure that they're all blended together break the eggs you at this open. point I would add milk a little bit of milk uh, I don't think Casey doesn't necessary. do that so you know whatever you like so once you start it once it's it's blended just a little bit or beat just a little bit you want to add this Oh, yeah. Or getting close. Okay. That's close for you? I don't know. Sure. Uh, so I put a little bit of all the other seasonings seasoning again in here. So not too much though because we've added it, some in there already. Uh, a little bit of salt. A shit ton of salt. I put what? The, I put the cheese in, yes. And then I put another layer. That's why you don't use all the cheese here. So I like to mix the cheese in. Riley doesn't like it because he feels like the eggs aren't cooked when you do this and you can't tell. So can't tell. I put that, the bacon, and I put a little bit of a, one more. Okay, and then sriracha. And that's just good. Shake it up a little bit. On that. A dash of cayenne pepper. And by a dash, I mean a, a bunch. Wash your hands again. Secretly toss some beer in here. I told you! Every <laughs> time. Alright, so once it's like this, you want to mix it all up again. Get all the, the liquid things meshed up in there. Get everything so it's coated in egg and all lovely and delicious. Once you've got all that nicely blended together and the vegetables look like they're about done, you just pour this right over the top of it. Yeah. All right. Is it done? If you want it to be done. Do you think it's done? Sure. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, I thought you were going to explain this way and say anything. Oh. Well, you can tell what, say what you're doing. So, because all the vegetables are kind of sitting at the bottom and in a big sort of clumpy area, I just, or we, I guess, just mix it up a little bit to get them all spread around and get all the bacon and, I guess, cheese, if you put it in there, mixed around. So, you kind of got a little bit of an even distribution. Yeah. And then if you want to turn this, you don't want it maybe quite as hot as you had it because it's going to sit there for a minute. And uh, just kind of cook it off until the edges start getting crispy. And then 
You want to have your broiler low, maybe? I put it on high, but I like to. Over More high. You just gotta watch it though to be safe. It'll be you're just really cooking the top shelf fit, uh, and you want to wait till it's about a little bit crispy on the top, golden brown or so. And then uh, after that, we'll pull it out, sprinkle a little bit more cheese on there, put it back in, wait till that sort of boils up a little bit, and then you're done. So that's what's next. Cheers. All right, so when you start to see, you can kind of see like right here, it starts to peel back a little bit bubble up and brown around the edges that's when you know your bottom's pretty much cooked and you then want to move this into your broiler there's also always the wiggle test if you if you feel like if it looks like most of the movement is just in that center part in the top on the top yeah. then you know that it's more cooked all the way down because yeah. you can you, see you'll see it start cooking back that way right yeah. all right so we'll take that and put that in our broiler it's set at 500 degrees you can cook it slower at a lower temperature if you want to, since that's what we have. If set. you have a lower high, this one has a temperature on it. Right. But. All right. Oh shit, that's not fair. I don't really have that close. Oh, see, that's how I have it. I have mine close up to the broiler and on low. He has his low down from the broiler and on high. So that'll be good. Okay, yeah, you can just leave that open and keep an eye on it. I usually do it for about a minute or so. Do you rotate it? I rotate it. I don't rotate it. I just make sure it's still in. And if you got a uh, metal handle like that, you want to be careful because that will probably heat up. So you want to probably grab yourself a, a towel or a mitt and, and grab it and just be careful. I have burned myself several <laughs> times on that shit. Probably have to turn that off. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And always turn your oven off, stove off. You alright? Yeah, good. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so that's all pretty pretty well cooked. Now the second to last step is to add a bit more cheese on there. You can go ahead. So, do, are we gonna right? flip this or no? Fold. Oh, you can serve it open face or fold it in half. It's really just up to you. I think this one is probably big enough to just be open face. Don't you think? All right, so I'll do it spread evenly. Normally, if, if it's going to be folded, I'll only put cheese on one half of it because it makes it easier to to fold. It kind of acts like glue. I do a pretty good job spreading this out either. Kind of like an egg pizza. Hey, you wanna pay attention here? Sorry, it's helping somebody else. Job's never done. And you just wanna take this, put it back under the broiler for until this gets a little bit bubbly, and then slide it out of the pan and you're done. Sweet. I'll get a plate ready. Sounds good. Make it a big one. Dude, get that big ass fucking platter down. Make it a big one. Make it look good. I like the dirty mom's dishes. So does mom. Now the internet will see you being a jackass. You should put claws on her hands when she walks by. Uh, or just make her hands go. <laughs> It'll be like, this is the only thing I can do. <laughs> Videos too long. Only because you make them too long. Oh shit. Wow, that's looking perfect. Well, that's how I do it. Yeah, looks good. Go ahead, Case, take it away. Alright, so this is your end result. If you want to wow, okay. show it to the camera real quick so you get a nice, good view of it. There we go. Uh, it's... <laughs> you zooming in there? Zooming yeah. in. It's like a gelatinous mob of goodness. Yeah. 
Fantastic. It got awesome. blurry too. It's kidding. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is put that on a nice big serving tray. It's a dozen egg chicken periods. Yep. This is similar to what we made uh, when we had some of our game. A little different though. Can I get that? Or... Let me just slide it out. It's going to break it loose there. Get that back side. Break it. Normally we don't do this when it's, it's holding it. Why don't you set it down? I have a name, Casey. <laughs> it's, it's we. You said when it's holding it. No. Yeah, I said we don't do it when it's... No, you said we normally don't do this when it's holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I uh, guess I'm just an object now. So, a beerless good cook. Bad cook. Well, he's got a beer. Oh, I have one. Yeah. Uh. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is all done, ready to go. We're gonna just split it open with this uh, spatula here. Size piece. Plate. And uh, that's what we're working with here. Oh, no. Top notch. Stick that in there. Take so our first bite. <laughs> sound because it was his his deal today mostly but it was good and I couldn't do it because my tongue was on fire so you know. Cheers. eat yourself to a grave <laughs> don't disappoint the worms on them yeah worms gotta eat good too <laughs> Look. 